Hello, this is me, Yogi Jane Sad, and I thought I'd do a video about this. This is an alarm clock. It also plays CDs, and the issue with it is that the CD part skips. I mean, whenever you put a disc in, it plays for a bit, and it'll suddenly stop, and it'll go searching backwards and forwards. So I know what the fix is. If it's not the laser lens, needs some of this, which is um, lithium grease. I uh, did it for one of my other CD players. A JVC one and it works pretty much fine. It had the same issue, it would seek and it would keep stopping and starting, so it's a lubrication thing. This is like 10, 15 years old. It does good as an alarm clock and it has a display on it. I could plug it in actually, just show the display. And what it is, it's like a radio and a CD player and an alarm clock, which is weird. I'll turn the light off. See there. It's got quite, it's just a just wood display really bright, medium and low. It's also a radio. Um, I can never remember how to do it. How do we do it? No. I don't know what one it is. Got the router downstairs and the computer's right here so you're gonna get... That's a weird noise. Often this you can hear the um, remote controls with these. What's the, um... That's a really weird noise. I don't know what that is. So, basically... I could play a CD, but it might get a copyright issue with it. It just keeps basically stopping and starting. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the piece, take, it, take the back off, and then um, I'll try and apply some of this onto there. What I do is I play a bit of non-copyright music. This is a CD. Okay, this is not an MP3. This is a CD. All right. Okay. It goes in the top there. It does a seeking thing where it goes. There's the track there. If that's nothing to do with the mechanism, then it might just be that the lens is malaligned or something, but it's doing this, it should just play. I know these are CDRs, so it might be something to do with it, but it does this with um, normal CDs as well as copied ones. So. It was working a minute ago. Let's go back to the first one. That's Shadow of the Beast. It's Amiga music. working now. It does the thing where it seeks and it doesn't quite get it. There's no bass. Is there any bass on this? No, there isn't. It's just two speakers. It's, I don't know how loud it is. It's modestly loud. But um, it's, it works, but it's between the tracks. If you search for another one, oh, it's working now. It's bloody working. So it, it, it's, it's the seek thing it has. So, what do you mean you don't have Amiga music on CDs? I do. Yeah, put on that's the CDR, so it's a little bit funny with them in general, but it does it with normal CDs too, so I'll take it to pieces and we'll have a look inside of it. Right, I've removed most of the screws. Oh, mate, there might be some in the top, actually. Yes, there is. Right, let's have a look. I'll take that out. Right, and it comes off. Back. That was another screw. And that. Okay, there it is. Where did I lose them? So, what we've got here is. Can't really see it because I'm an idiot. Go on. That's basically what's inside of it, and there's not a whole lot in there, just the CD player. I'm going to have to take that to pieces to get into the CD player part. 
say is four four ohms to watts. You can see that probably not. Sony, um, if it's not lubrication to do with the, the mechanism as such, then I don't know what it is. It's just there it is. So basically, I've got to get all of that out of there in, um, removed. Um, right, so gotta get all this out of here. There's a headphone socket on that. Oh no, don't bend that. Hang on a minute. There we are. These sort of things, and um, if you waggle them, you'll probably end up breaking it. So I don't want to. That's not socketed. You can't see what I'm doing, but it's like. Got it. I don't want to break them pins on there. Okay. So that's um, that's the back bit, which is basically the power supply transformer. There's nothing wrong with these, as far as I can tell. Oh, right, so I need to take oh, man, three screws out here. To be able to get, I don't think I've taken it to, piece, to pieces that to that level ever. I don't think. There's another one. Is that cut out? No. Hope it's not an issue with um, alignment because that's difficult to fix, but it's impossible. Now that goes, now that's an earthing wire. And that goes to there. Shag it. So it's warm because I used it for like an hour earlier. Um, how am I going to get that out then? Does it come out? What I found out was there was um, a screw here and here. And it seems like it comes out, which is rather decent of it. Now, okay, so, right, so then oh, there's another screw here. I'm not seeing. If I get that off, I can then get to the mechanism I would have thought. Oh man, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Taking this thing to pieces. I like it, some of the the um, older stuff is like meant to be serviced, whereas modern stuff kind of isn't. If you get a modern CD player or if they don't make them anymore, they usually like disposable, they, they last a certain amount of time and then they're not meant to be serviced. These ones, they look like they're meant to be serviced. This is like 15, at least 15 years old. It is quite an old. Oh, there it is. Is there another one? I don't want to pull it and... It's coming, it's coming apart. Oh, there's a... There, ah, okay, yep. This got these ribbon cables on it. Yep, that's it. So what we've got here is that's the logic. Sorry. That's the logic for the CD. That's the brain of the thing that reads the CD, and then the mechanism is there, and then the rest of it is like radio. I've never taken this to pieces. This I took the back off once or twice. I've never took it to pieces this far. Analog radio, effectively, with the digital tuner. And loads of little capacitors, and actually looking at them, they look pretty reasonable, actually. There's a little lamp there as well, that's what this bit here I would have thought is. I've got to look at what, I think I've, I looked at the PDF, at least a year ago, I think. But, um, 
that's what it looks like. And then the rest is display, that's the display, and then the little speakers there. It's like a hair, yuck. Okay, I'll be careful with that because it's got an earthing wire, I don't want to break that. Right, so if we're in the um another bloody screw. Gotta get into um into here. So that's the rubber. I'll take that off, is that one thing right? Right, got the last one out. I've no idea how this is going to work, so... There it is. That's the top of the thing there. Right, so I've seen this before where the top bit here, this is a plastic cover. It's got Sony label on it. I don't know what processor that is. I don't know. And another one there. Don't want to mess about with all the motor and everything underneath. I just want to get... I've got a number of capacitors there. I'm going to have to get into... It's a bit dusty, actually. Okay, it's clipped on... There. Okay. I need to get inside of that. Where the hell is it held in? I think it's been soldered on or something, no? I'm gonna have to just get this plastic thing off the top here. I've never done I've done this before on different on the different one, not on this one. There it is, there it is. Alright. It's not a how-to, so don't take your thing to pieces and go, oh, it's not working. Alright, that's the mechanism there. And it does that, basically. That's how it's, it goes from one end of the disc to the other. And I'm thinking, this bar here is dry. And as it moves along, a little bit could go on these um, bits as well. And they, they should be like very slightly lubricated, and that doesn't, that feels dry. So what happens is, as it goes along, it starts to kind of scrape and stick to the metal, to the metal there. So I'm going to put some of this into lithium grease. Someone's probably going to say, oh, it's the wrong kind. I haven't got any other kind, so I'm going to put a little bit. Do it close enough. Doesn't need a whole lot. That's probably about it, really, to be honest, about that much. I'll put a little bit on that. And I'm going to just, um, I could use a pencil, to be honest. I'm just going to spread it down a little bit down there. I did it for my DVD player and it started having issues and it started to just slightly skip. I was given one, another DVD player, and it was the same issue, as dry as bone. And then it starts to eat, like doing a seeking thing where it keeps losing track, like literally. Okay, so... Right, turn that. Why don't you turn this? My screen's the wrong way around here. So. The idea is that that then like smears it all up and down that. Now this not might be not what's wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it otherwise because if it's not that. Should put some of that. Think a bit more. It's kind of bunching up at this end here, so if I get some of that and put it on this end here. Don't want like it's. You don't need a whole lot of this because it. Not that it would do any damage, I suppose, but you don't want to get in all over the electronics and stuff. But I'll put a little bit more. 